Happy third Thursday, everyone. Welcome to our last, but certainly not least, Gallery Night virtual tour for the summer. While we don't have any more new exhibitions scheduled until September, you can check out the link to our Bannister Gallery Omika website in the video description to see the full Class of 2020 Art Students exhibition. Today, we're highlighting a few more pieces from that show. Lee Davis received her BFA in ceramics and made this sculpture titled Prayers for the Harvest using clay, acrylic paint, rhinestones, bronze, beads, and copper wire. Lee makes a series of sculptures from this collection that draws inspiration from artwork made by Native American tribes in the southwest region of the United States, where her grandmother lives. She is specifically interested in the overlap between craft folk art and fine art and seeks to explore that connection further through the detailed intricacy of her ceramic works. Deanna Rubin graduated with a BA in digital media and a minor in marketing. Her Character Composition Series 2 is a set of illustrations done for her digital media classes. Throughout her digital art, Deanna uses various characters and environments to explore light and composition. Joel Dunn received his BFA in sculpture, but has recently become more interested in two-dimensional paintings and works on paper. His recent artwork, titled Legion, for We Are Many, uses oil and graphite on kitakata paper and shows his interest in using abstracted form to reference and modernize historical imagery. This work in particular references the Milton Shield, a decorative shield made in 1886 to commemorate 17th century English poet John Milton's Paradise Lost, and the title is taken from a biblical quote. Madison Lane received a BFA in art education with a concentration in sculpture. Her work, Cruel Adagio, which shows a disassembled saxophone reconfigured using sheet metal, liquid latex, and steel rods, is a representation of her struggle with comprehending cancer and its immediate effects on her family members and herself. The artwork shows both the ugliness of the cancer and its treatments, as well as the resilience of the human body. Shade Veruit graduated with a BA in graphic design. This illustration and spread, titled Holy Hera, were designed for her class project, in which she designed a 40-page book about Hera, the famed Greek goddess. Instead of using the frequent stereotype of Hera as a jealous wife, this book project instead presents her as a woman who fought for gender equality. Kristen Dasano received a BFA in painting, as well as a BA in graphic design. Midnight Flight, which uses ink and gouache on paper, stems from Kristen's interest in painting or drawing something that uses imagery from the natural world, but isn't actually real. She creates animal amalgamations that twist the viewer's perception and allows them to peek at a snapshot of the artist's mind. Greer Howard received her BFA in jewelry and printmaking. Her 2018 piece, Memorial to a Fallen Friend, comes from the series titled By Unknown Whaler. The series serves as a reflection on forgotten populations within history, and the necklace's focus is a broken ship's barometer that hangs over a circular plate of brass and features a repoussé scene of a ship in a storm at sea. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to check out the full exhibition at bannistergallery.omika.net. See you all soon.